Make him glue full match. Where's his match? Where's your match? Where's your match, mate? Where's your match? Where's your match? Where's your match? What's your number, mate? Where's your badge? Another example of illegal police conduct. Is that legal? You got What's your badge number? What's your badge number? JB. JB. JB what? He wouldn't give his badge number clearly. Thank you. Well, that's a good, clear response. I'm going to give you hands for that. Good on you. The sidewalks are right, isn't it? I like GI. Army of the rich, enemy of the poor. 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 It's a long, long road from which there is no return. It's a more police scene. Hey, lady, G, check it out. Righteous brothers. Turns out he is heavy, and yeah, my brother. Give me a good uncle. No badge. Oh, no badge. What's your badge number? Are you foreign? What's your badge number? Oh, okay. I'll be giving you an outside driver. You've got to put the uniform. Okay, cool. Yep, yeah, oh, yeah. Another one not visible.
Match number not visible. Yeah, visible. Visible. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just going. I think. Some of you guys got slightly loose fitting hivers, but that's okay. At least we're road safe. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. What's your badge number? What's your badge number? You're an officer who doesn't speak English. What is your badge number, Mr. Peace Officer? Gentlemen behind you gave his badge number very freely and clearly. What's up with you? Are you on the disciplinary or something? That's okay. All those we help people on TV. 200 bucks, it's worth it. But no badge number, wouldn't give it. Okay, see you on YouTube in the morning. Yep, nice clear badge number. Yep, nice clear. Yep. And he gave us, but not very clearly at all. You know, I was talking at the police cameras and. Uh, Patakura, Manuru, Manukau, Glendon, Otara, G8, Victor, and Norris at the Peril. Some of you actually paid attention to that message. You might have had a few boys here earlier, but I just might Actually, most of those cameras are pointed at traffic. They're not pointed at the shopping centres. Except for Manuru, outside that liquor shop. You need it. And we do need that kind of enforcement. Oh, there's the smoker. We did have an idea for the skywalk, but we had to abandon it because it wasn't really... It would require some kind of an acrobat. And here we have the general citizenry assembled uh, to come out, especially today, to what's been going on. Hello, you look, you look stunning, madam. Thank you. You're well colour coordinated. You've evidently got all the Trini and Susannas on DVD. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> cool. Where, where do you hail from? Well, uh, Westy, of course. Westy? Oh, that's where my son lives. Oh, well, he's hmm. up to know something. He, he's the yeah, lots of itches out there. Construction, wine. Yeah. Evidently they're doing a lot of building and a lot of drinking afterwards. <laughs> hey, come on, I'll buy you a beer. I'll buy you a beer, Vinny. Alright, you'll buy me a beer. It's a private establishment. I'm not going to cause any trouble. Yeah, you're appropriately dressed, I think. The shirt doesn't go with the... um. The youth minister. Well, I think it, I think it makes me kind of uh, very bright, you know, brighter than the sun, just not that hot. Yeah. Well, what do you think? We're going to a beer. Yeah, we're going for a beer. We're going for a beer. Can we go into a private establishment for a beer? Hmm. All right. Well, well, so what does the manager think, think of some of the police refusing admission to the premises? Well, hey, I don't know. When I was a security guard, bro, a whole bunch of people asked me, oh, why we're not allowed to wear hats? Why we're not allowed to wear hoodies inside, inside knackers or anything like that? So I did what any security guard or authority figure would do. I just made up a complete bullshit reason, and they believed me because I was an authority figure. <laughs> and you had the, the cancer bandana on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't that, have the cancer bandana. Whole, okay. <laughs> well, what's, what's the bandana do? Going to prevent you from getting brain cancer because it keeps the head warm? <laughs> no, it's a, um, okay, you need, you need, you need to Wikipedia of this, that, that, and... I remember these two from Seattle, they were really one, two of the most raucous protesters. Yeah. some kind of societal apartheid based on belief. If you, if you think nothing's wrong, you're over there. If you think something's wrong, you're over here. But you can't come in. So I need to go and buy something at the shop and come back with a bag. I think I'm standing again. He's, a, he's actually tra tra a trained police psychologist, which we learned at the at next stage of the book. Yeah.
he's, he's very good at doing the Mr. Apple act, but you know, he's been trained in words and stuff like that, body language. Yeah, because uh, we were rushed along the, the fire, the, the cardboard box was burning in the middle of the street, but there was nobody standing near them and there was no traffic. There's Jane Wong over there from Genoa. She was throwing bricks at the Italian police head. Hopefully she can get her case of bricks through. It's nice not to see any Manukau faces there for a change. These are local boys, eh? And girls, sorry, that's the sector. Oh, they're taking down. So now I can come and get a beer. Where's Vinny gone? I'll buy Vinny that beer. Where's my yellow shirted friend? Mr. Mr. Allen here, hard worker, very hard worker, Mr. Allen. So they'll be expected to stand here for probably the next hour or so. And this is what we were moved along the street for. A small pile of ash. Oh look, it's like... This is democracy in New Zealand. A dead tree burned in the fire of God knows what.